the next big exam that is going to happen is gate 2021 exam so a lot of people is aspiring for that examination a lot of people is preparing for that a lot of people has yet to start for the examination but want to attend the exam so here we are going to see the 10 tips to crack the gate 2021 or an efficient strategy for gate 2021 for the beginners so for those people who have not yet started here are 10 tips to properly start and help you to crack the gate exam which is the gate 2021 okay so let us see what are the 10 tips or the 10 steps that you have to follow so the first step is to understand the procedure so gate 2021 is a very big examination a lot of people is going to attend gate examinations so you should understand what is the procedure of gate exam what is a marking pattern what is a uh, marking scheme what is a time duration what is the exam pattern what is the difficulty level and also you should be knowing what is the relevance or what is its relevance gate exam uh, relevance what is the use if you pass a gate exam what all things you can gain if you have a valid gate score so all these things you should be knowing and also it is very useful if you uh, try to get some experiences from uh, any persons who have uh, cracked the uh, gate exams uh, in the previous attempts okay so please try to do all these things as a beginning try to understand the procedure it will be very useful for you to go on to the next steps and also it will be very useful uh, for you to crack the examination actually okay so the first step is to understand the procedure the marking the exam pattern the relevance everything and i have done a detailed video on gate kickstart in which i have explained about the marking scheme the exam pattern and also i have included the detailed syllabus for the electronics gate examination okay so why this process is important why we need to understand the procedure because rather than just uh, starting without any idea it will be just like uh, jumping into the ocean okay without any idea if you're going to start studying your subject all of a sudden it is no use for you so first you need to understand what is an examination going to happen what all things you have to face what is a marking scheme what is a time duration all these things you should be knowing second a step that you should actually do if you are going to attempt the gate exam or if you want to crack the gate exam is download all previous year question papers of gate exam if you don't have a good gate uh, textbook that is question bank if you don't have in most of the question banks you can find at least five year previous year question papers but if you don't have that try downloading all previous year question papers and also if you have a question bank also it is very useful if you found or if you download all these question papers for all the gate exams which happened in the previous years now if you have these question papers one thing you can uh, find is that you can answer this question paper that is first of all very good and also you can find the all important areas from which the questions can come so this previous year question papers is a big asset for all the gate experience so try downloading all the question papers which happened for the previous year gate examination that is the second big step that you should do if you are going to attempt the gate examination the third step is to follow the exact gate syllabus see if you are uh, going to google about gate exam over uh, google or over the internet you will be finding a lot of sites which explaining about the gate syllabus and in various sites you can find various syllabus the exact syllabus that is the most important rather than studying all the subjects or all the topics it is a uh, not efficient way of studying okay so you should get the exact syllabus from which the questions are coming in the previous year so you should get the exact syllabus so that is a big task find the exact syllabus and try to follow that exact syllabus and which is useful for your preparation okay so first find the exact syllabus note it somewhere and then only start your preparation so find the exact syllabus and follow it next step is to try answering some of the previous year question papers you have to note that we have not yet talked anything about starting our preparation but we are going to answer some previous year questions before even starting our preparation now why this is important to answer some old question papers before even starting your preparation is because if you try answering 
or if you try solving some previous year question papers you can first find the difficulty level find the uh, the difficulty levels of previous year question papers from which you will get an idea to how much or uh, how uh, deep you have to do your preparation that is first first thing second thing is you will get an idea about your strength and weaknesses that is you will get an idea about on which all subjects you are good at on which all subjects you need to do more preparation so that is the fourth step try answering some of the old gate question paper not any random question paper you, you should answer you should answer the old gate question papers itself so it is very useful for you even before you prepare a timetable if you do this it is very efficient okay so that is a fourth step is to prepare a very good timetable now you have the standard of questions now you have all your previous question papers now you have the exact syllabus now you can start preparing a or you can prepare a good timetable and when you are preparing a timetable don't forget to uh, include some time slot or some uh, some time spacing for the mock test on all days in whichever day you are practicing or in whichever day you are preparing for gate exam you should give some time for writing the mock test or writing some examination okay either you can uh, go on to some sites you can find some mock tests there or you just prepare by yourself a mock test and you have to answer okay that is write some questions then see and then after solving see the answer okay likewise you have to do mock test on all days and when you are preparing a mock test by your own or from any sites just uh, make sure that you are answering questions from all subjects not just focusing on one subject try to and include all subject questions in this mock test okay also when you are preparing a timetable don't just go on studying the theory things try to include numerical questions also that is very important because in gate question papers if you see 80 percentage there will be questions on numericals only that is from subjects also numerical questions from subjects on various areas okay not theory questions okay so numerical questions are very important from all theory subjects that is from all subjects you need to do numerical questions okay so that is a fifth step you need to prepare a very good timetable the sixth step is to actually start your preparation so we have all uh, things set for starting the preparation till the timetable everything is ready so next step is to start your preparation very on a full fledged manner okay so when you are preparing i would not suggest you to take your uh, textbooks for example for digital electronics you are going to take one big textbook and you are going to start from the beginning that is not an efficient way for competitive examinations especially always go on short videos or short notes from internet or go for some uh, formula videos like that okay anyway you have to always keep a good textbooks with you if you have some very big doubts you can refer but when you are starting a preparation uh, that is from the the very starting page of the textbook if you are going to start reading it is very time consuming process and you may not finish all your subjects okay that's that's my point i'm not telling you to don't follow the textbook you have to so i'm not telling you to not read your textbook you have to follow your textbook you have to read your textbook but you have to selectively read from the textbook not start from the very beginning page to the end page so if you are doing like that you may only finish sometimes one subject within the time period for your preparation okay so it is very inefficient way or inefficient way okay so uh, always rely on some uh, internet internet uh, videos or some uh, materials you available you you will get a lot of pdfs over the internet short notes you will get so rely on that also and if you have doubts you can refer the textbook also okay so you have to club these th things together textbooks net short videos everything you have to club together for having an efficient preparation okay the seventh step is to make formula revision notes and short notes on topics okay so there are various uh, topics which are very very important you have lot of points 
for your examination which you feel that it is uh, like important for your preparation so you need to make some notes so while making notes always try to make short notes and also try to uh, make formula revision notes for all your course subject that is my idea okay so or my advice is that see for electronics you have uh, various core subjects like digital electronics is there analog electronics is there network is there control system is there so example these are some subjects so for all these core subjects you have to make formula revision notes so the advantage of making this short notes or formula revision notes is that consider that only one week is left for your examination for your gate exam on that week you cannot start reading or you cannot take your textbook and read at that time these short notes will be very useful okay so make formula revision notes and short notes on topics of uh, from your course subjects okay the eighth point is that make sure you answer all the previous year questions so we have uh, answered some questions in the beginning right at that time you are not really uh, you have not really started your preparation you have just answered the question papers just to understand how difficult the questions can be how uh, deep you have to prepare how much you are strong at how much you are weak at so that was your aim while you answering uh, while you answered all the previous year questions at the beginning now you are uh, actually you have gained some knowledge you have started your preparation you have some good formula revision notes with you you have actually started your preparation and so by this time you should be answering all the previous year question papers and all the questions from all the previous year question papers you should answer it is very efficient if you i am telling you if you answer all these previous year question papers it is very useful for you to crack the gate examination because sometimes you find that a lot of questions are actually type of questions are actually repeating sometimes the same questions can come that is uh, not really possible but the same pattern of questions can come so if you answer all the previous year questions it is very useful to have uh, useful for you to have a clear idea about the gate exam which you are going to attend and also it is very useful for you to understand the pattern of questions and it is very useful for you to score so make sure you answer all the previous year question papers and the ninth one is practice mock tests from sites so you have you are going on a very good way in your preparation you are really concentrating on your preparation in a very serious note so towards the end of your preparation you should practice mock tests from sites on daily basis you should do mock tests mock tests a lot of mock tests you have to attempt now what is the importance of mock test is mock test is timely answering right you know you may know all the questions you may know all the answers but you should be able to answer the questions within the given time so for that mock tests are very important mock test means you are going to answer the questions in a timely manner so they will be keeping some time uh, i mean a cut off time for your examination in some sites you can find and you have to answer the given question consider there is 10 questions or 15 questions you have to answer these questions within the given time so you will get a timely practice this timely practice is very important so by doing these mock tests you can actually improve your speed okay so that is importance see if you you can you can answer a question in 1 minute and also you can answer a question in 10 minutes which one is efficient way you have to answer the question in 1 minute so in order to speed up in order to speed your uh, speed up your doing doing questions that is in order to make your speed improve you need to practice mock test from sites okay so that is a ninth step timely revise all your studied concept see our uh, brain is just like a capacitor it will store and it will retrieve or it will discharge some topics which you have uh, studied at the beginning of your preparation will lose from your memory towards the end okay so what you have to do is you have to timely refresh your capacitor or timely refresh your brain so some topics which you have studied at the beginning may get lost towards the end okay so what you have to do is first thing you have to make notes of this things only then you in the end you can go and refer because you don't have to start from the beginning right so some 
you in the beginning you have taken some textbooks or you have taken some uh, notes from the sites and you have readed it but you don't have time for doing that again in the end of the preparation or towards the gate exam date so what you have to do is first you have to make a note at the beginning itself when you are actually starting your preparation you have to make neat, neat or short notes of this so that in the end you can revise or i'm telling it don't wait till the end in between you have to go for timely revising okay so the timely revision is very important the 10th tip is to timely revise your studied concepts okay so these are the 10 tips which i am including in this video so a lot of people do comment me uh, when i was doing my video for preparation tips on technical assistant examination that that was really useful so uh, some of the tips i have included in this video also so gate exam is a matter of smart work not hard work you need to smart you need to do a smart preparation okay so these 10 tips i think it will be useful for you to have a smart preparation everyone has studied these subjects during their uh, college days b tech or b these subjects they have studied so everyone is actually familiar or at least have heard of these subjects so what you have to do a, do is do a smart revision or a smart preparation for these topics for these subjects so that you can crack the gate exam okay gate exam is not a big deal it is not rocket science you can crack it so i really hope you found this 10 tips useful for your preparation if yes please to give it a thumbs up and also share this video with maximum of gate experts we are doing mock test videos for gate preparation and esc preparation esc gate combined we are doing mock test series so please try to share those videos also with maximum of friends and if you want more videos subject related videos also so i am doing a lot of videos for a formula revision also and for a subject revision also i'm not uh, teaching the theory things everything we are doing here as a revision as a quick study methods we are doing okay so if you want that please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching